Hi guys, and today I'm doing this because I thought it'd be funny. So before, for a couple of years now, uh, I got a magnet and I've been doing things like magnet fishing and others. And sometimes the magnet doesn't work because of the material it's made out of. And I've had to go into the water and find it myself. So I found these two things what were really surprising towards me that I found them. So we'll start with this. It's a World War II apothetician. I can't say it. Um, basically, it's a World War II medal that you'd be given after the war. As you can see here, the dates, 1939 to 1940, I think that's five. Can't see through. I'm looking through the camera right now, and on the back you can see that it was made for the army. It's an army issued thing after coming from the war. It's quite good that. And then we have this. It's an old shotgun pellet made in London. You know it's old because London hasn't made shotgun pellets for hundreds of years. Um, as you can see, it is disarmed inside, all the pellet and all the things inside is gone. It's actually missing the red part of the shell over here, so it's just the metal piece, and it's already been shot before. As you can see, this little piece of metal here is missing, like it's been dinted, and that's where the hammer would have hit it and then blown open this and then opened it. And I found these in the exact same place. They've got nothing to do with each other, I don't think, anyway. Um, my personal favourite has got to be the shotgun pellet. Due to the fact of it being quite rare. I've, I've never seen a shotgun pellet. And the fact that I found it in England is um, quite surprising because... You know, shotgun pellets haven't been made or weapons aren't allowed in this country. But since it's been disarmed and it's been gone for hundreds of years, yeah, it's completely rusted up. I, I, it was more rusted than this when I found it. I had to clean it up. And then this was rusted as well that I found. It was all rusted here. And you can see it's lost all its colour at the back here. But, um, yeah, I found these ages ago with my kind of metal but they didn't work because if you can kind of hear that i mean and show you here it's made out of brass almost or some sort of non-metal it's like made out of a metal but it's not made out of the metal that i need to get it with the actual the magnet either is this because if you I don't know if you can hear that but it's not if you look at the material real closely, it's very thin material. It's not a normal material that we use to make a bullet. I mean, nowadays, it's made out of a different material. So I could catch a normal bullet if it was newer. But because this is really old, it's made out of an old... Br it's like brass, almost. Um, made out of a really old material. Now, my there we are. So, um, I just wanted to show you this, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you um, like the things that I have to show. Um, at some point, I will be um, making a video on magnet fishing. Um, it won't be for a long time though, until all this stuff has passed by. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I'll be making more videos like this as soon as possible. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, guys.